Hey everyone, welcome back on Devish Tag channel. Okay, so in this video, first thing we need to complete is we need to handle the navigation from one page to the another page. Okay, so we have this welcome page, and on click up on agree and continue, then we have to go on to the this page. Okay, so before making this page, we need to handle the navigation. Okay, and to handle the navigation on the React Native. We need to install another package okay that is a react navigation package okay i will put the link of this documentation page in the description please go through it and uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to install this package so i will use npm install here and it will install the dependency after installing this dependency we need to install uh, uh, this react native screen and react native safe area context via the expo so i will just hit this npm npx expo install code and install this thing too okay once we will install all this package what we need to do that in the app.tsx we need to wrap the whole thing inside the navigation container which will be provided by the uh, react native navigation package okay so it have a really good documentation so it will it is stating that we need to wrap this thing i mean our app.tsx view inside this container okay so let me wrap this thing here just and let me import the package as well so yeah navigation controller is added here and we need to put all the dependency in the beginning only to manage thing better all the dependency which is created by us should be in the bottom of the dependency list so we have wrapped our navigation container and let me serve us uh, run a server okay npm start it will run the expo start and our server will be started again and uh, if I will go on a documentation, so here you will going to find out that we need to create a stack navigator first. Okay. And to create a stack navigator, we need to have one dependency installed on our project. Okay. So we need to install this dependency too on our project. So let's go ahead and install this dependency. I will use npm i and provide the dependency name. Meanwhile, uh, once it will install, we need to create an instance of the stack okay and um, to create an instance what we can do is basically this stack will going to manage our navigation okay so i will going to use i, I will going to create a stack instance uh, create stack navigator okay and once it will be created then what we need to do that we need to wrap our component inside this stack uh, navigator component okay so we can wrap this like this we have to create a context of the stack navigator and it is just like uh, handling the route okay so if uh, we have a welcome page or for example we have a loading page so those are a two different route okay so to handle those two different route we need to uh, create this stack navigator and along with that we need to create a screen name okay so we have a second thing stack dot screen okay and what it will do it it, it will take basically two major uh, props first thing is the component and the second thing will going to be the name okay so the name is for the root okay so I uniquely identify the page we have to provide a unique name so in the name basically we need to provide a unique name for our root so suppose if we are using a loading page okay so if you are i'm using our loading page as a first uh, screen okay so basically this is our first screen and so to identify this screen i can give the name like loading page okay so it should be unique for each screen so suppose we have a second screen okay and that screen is the welcome page 
so i need to create a separate name for this so these name are the roots okay basically in browser also we have different roots to show different components similarly in the react native as well we need to create a different different route to show a different screen so this is our first route to show a loading page and this is our second route for showing a welcome page and we don't need this thing now okay now we have two different route and uh, what does it say try and register to view with the same name okay so let me just refresh the page and see it's working fine or not so yeah it is working fine and basically the first page is become our initial route okay but we can provide our another props in stack.navigator so it also have an initial root name okay so whatever page we wanted to so at the time of the initiating the app we can provide here okay so if i wanted to show a welcome page first then i can give our initial root name as a welcome page and once i will refresh the page then you will going to find out that our welcome page will going to be our first page to so whenever our app is loaded okay and also you will see a weird thing here that now automatically the header is coming right so welcome page header is coming automatically and the root name we provided here that is coming in a header okay but for the welcome page we don't need to show the header okay so here we have a props called option and i'm going to discuss this whole thing later once we will going to work on the um, on the other page where we need to show the header okay but for now to disable the header we can just use header zone as a false then then the header will go away okay so same thing i will do for this landing page but landing page we are not using as of now but let's use the same thing option here okay now we have added our navigation now let's work on the third page which is our otp page okay so what i will do i will create a new page it will be a otp page okay and i will going to create a tsx file for it r n f c f e s functional export okay with the styling and this is our otp page and let's create a third screen okay that will be our otp page welcome instead of the welcome it will going to be otp page and let's see how on a click of every and continue new button we will land into the otp page okay so let me give you this thing a unique name otp page and let's go on our welcome page okay so as in app.tsx we are using the stack.screen okay to handle the navigation and we have provided welcome page here so by default when the welcome page is initiated it will going to give us a prop called navigation we don't need to provide the navigation prop uh, manually as we are using the stack dot screen our uh, stack navigator so by default when we are using welcome page inside a stack screen so this stack navigator will basically going to give us a prop called navigation okay and uh, let's not think about type as of now so basically in the navigation what you can do that on the on press okay so here on the on press you can use navigator dot navigate and you just have to provide the root name where you wanted to navigate okay so basically i wanted to navigate from welcome page to the otp page so we have to use the same unique name which we have provided to navigate 
to that screen okay so i wanted to navigate on to the otp page so i need to use the same unique name which i have created here okay so if i will click on agree and continue button then you're going to find out that we have landed into the uh, on our otp page okay so if i will go on app.tsx if i will just comment out this option then you will see that otp page is added and here we are getting an option to go back to the welcome page okay so we can go back to the welcome page here okay i guess uh, we have added navigation in everything so let's wrap this video here uh, let's not further extend it in the next video i will going to continue working on this otp page okay till that please don't forget to subscribe this channel like the video and share the video to your friend it will highly motivate me to to make more videos okay see you on the next video guys